Welcome back to the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 2 Let's Play. This is part 8 and Neville is just talking about us. We're going to go down to the Gryffindor common room and hear what we have to do today. Hello Hermione, do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's defense against the Dark Hearts Harry, with Gilderoy Lockhart. I can't wait. Hmm, me neither. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense against the Dark Hearts class. So today we're going to have our first spell lesson where we learn a new spell and I just returned the vial case back to the student which gives you house points and also a wizard card. Those are the lost items, you know. So let's just check and see what we have to find this time. Gryffindor merit bag badge dropped during a flying lesson. I know where that is. I'm not going to find all of them as I've said before, but I'll find some of them just so we don't lose the house cup. So as I said, today we're going to have the first spell lesson. What I mean by that is we're going to have the first lesson in the game where we learn a new spell. And that lesson is Defense Against the Dark Arts with um, Gildor Lockhart as our teacher. So that is going to be quite interesting. Gildor Lockhart is a very, very important character in Chamber of Secrets. So we, so it's very, very interesting that we're going to have a class with him now. We've already met him though in uh, Diagon Alley. We met him there, and now we're going to have a class with him. Go to the third floor. Here's the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. And I wouldn't touch that door, Harry, if I were you, but he did anyways. So we're now just going to start our Defense Against Dark Arts lesson with our teacher, Gilderoy Lockhart. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent! This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spell book somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spell book in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit. So the spell that we're going to learn in this lesson is Expelliarmus. Um, yeah, Expelliarmus is a very known spell from the Harry Potter universe. Everyone has heard of the spell Expelliarmus. So that's what we're going to learn in this lesson. So. Each time you go to a spell challenge, you crawl through one of these crawl spaces. And now we are caught, trapped inside this huge room. If you press this button, these um, flying balls that actually look like bludgers or something like that will appear. So what you have to do is use Fupendo to destroy them. And if you wait long enough they will actually get spiky. There will appear spikes on them like that. You can see the red one, that one has spikes. So just avoid them. Try not to get hit by the spikes and just use the pendo to destroy them. And I think you'll be fine. This is the last one. And now they're all destroyed. So there's two ways you can go. One of the ways is uh, the way you're supposed to go and one of them is to awaken valid. Cauldron, I think this is the Weakenwell Cauldron. 
I think so. Let's go in and check if it is the Wigan Weld. Yes, it is. But I've already filled up my vial, so I don't need to fill it up again. I already have a Wigan Weld, but if you don't have it, you can fill it up right there. So we're going to go this way, which is the way you're supposed to go. Right over here. And through this door. So you come into this strange room. You can see that there's four holes in the ground with fire in them. What you're supposed to do here is that you're going to... First of all, don't go up here just yet. You need to go down and you need to find one of those buttons to press that we've pressed times before. Here it is, just press this one. And this spiky ball, or whatever you want to call it, will fall down. And then you want to go over here, get rid of the imps first, and don't fall down, but use the not the bando, use the findo to cut the rope. Like that, and that will lower um, this thing right here, and then you can do it again. You have to do that with all four of the spike balls, and you can proceed after you've done that. So Gilder Lockhart just said that uh, Professor Snape is his assistant. Of course he's not his assistant, that's just Gilder Lockhart being very self-obsessed. As you know, uh, Lockhart is very known for being self-obsessed. So, of course he's self-obsessed in this video game as well. That just makes perfect sense. Actually, Lockhart is actually one of my favorite characters from the from Harry Potter because he's very funny and he's very interesting and I just really enjoy um I just really enjoy him as a character. I just I don't know why, I just do. He's just quite interesting as well. So I like Lockhart actually a lot. So uh, you need to get this imp right here and uh, throw it into one of the cages. And that cage is located right over here. Like so. And uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is a little bit strange, a little bit different. You might be able to hear that. That's just because I have a little bit of a cold. Not too much, it's just a little bit. Just a little bit of a cold. So hopefully that won't annoy you guys too much. And hopefully I don't sound like a crow too much. Hopefully I sound just fine. So that lowers the last one, and in here is a chest with a chocolate frog inside it. So get the frog and that will give you full health. And now we can exit this room through the door. And now you come into this room and you can see that there's the spiky balls that are spinning around and you can't get past them. If you use the Defendo, on these two ropes, the spike balls will actually slow down their speed. Don't get too close here. And you probably saw that there was imps coming out, but they don't do anything, so just ignore them. And now you come into this strange area that actually has like a hell theme. It almost looks like hell. I can imagine hell looking like this. But for some reason you can see Hogwarts Castle and there's some win windows that are lit. Not lit, but you know, there's light inside the windows, so it's Hogwarts Castle. And yeah, Hogwarts Castle must be huge if they have like all of these areas for the spell challenges. Yeah, Hogwarts Castle must be huge. So you just want to use the pendo on these gargoyles that um, that breathe fire, 
because you don't want to get hit by the fire. So just use the pendo to get the fire away. You can cast with pendo like all of the time, just hit it, hit it, and hit it. Or you can just cast a big flipendo spell like I did. And that opens that area and we can jump down, which would actually kill Harry if he did that in real life. But he's Superman, so he survived. And now we come into the room with the spell book. Here is the Expelliarmus spell book. We have now learned a new spell. Got it. The spell book. And I always put this one on triangle. Alright, so we're cast right into a boss battle. Um, this is a boss battle against a gargoyle. What you want to do each time the gargoyle shoots one of those things, you want to use your new spell Expelliarmus to shoot it back at him. Like this. And then the gargoyle will be hit by it and it will lose health. It is a very very simple boss battle. But the thing is you actually need these kinds of gargoyles a lot of times in this game you will battle like 10 of these gargoyles in the game and it's the same thing over and over you just use the spell to defeat the gargoyle and you will fight it like 10 times in the game so it is quite repetitive that we fight this gargoyle or this type of gargoyle like 10 times in the game it is quite repetitive but that's just how it is, we have to go through it. And um, some of the times he will shoot the spell back at you when you have already shot it back. He uses his wing to do that, like that. But just keep shooting it back. And you will lose health. And make sure that you aim at him as well before you start shooting at him. And when I was recording this, here at the end, I kept getting hit when I was trying to shoot it back, like, all of the time. I don't know why that was, but I got hit, like, so many times right here. I don't know why I did, I just did. But, who cares? Just try and do your best, don't get hit as many times as I do. And yeah, I keep getting it. What we call this is dueling. We will actually use the spell Expelliarmus in dueling each time we duel in the game. And you do duel quite a few times in this game. And Expelliarmus is like the dueling spell. You will, you will use that when you duel. And this is kind of a duel. Um, we will actually duel an actual person in the next part, but that's not in this part, that's in the next part. So we have to wait for the next video. And now we just defeated the Gargoyle, it's destroyed, and we have finished the Expelliarmus spell challenge. So come back for the next part and we will duel an actual person and do some more very very interesting things. See you then!